Um, do you guys know what's going on here? Why the heck did I get here? I guess this means I have to talk to you guys now about the message I had in my mind. Okay, all right, all right, let's do that. Really, nigga? So, if the first words you utter to a person you do not know are complaints, especially about things you cannot control, especially about things that you cannot change, it says and speaks volume about you as a person. I just don't like you. No. You want to complain just to feel the high, just to feel the dopamine rush, just to feel like you're a victim. You ain't no victim. Let's be truthful here. If you're truly complaining about something you cannot control just to get attention, just to be cool, just to fit in, just to add another burden to the new person you're meeting, it says something about you as a person, right? Sorry to say, but that's the truth. Why am I even sorry? Why am I even sorry? Stop complaining over things you cannot control. Stop complaining over the weather. If you don't like the weather, move to another country. Stop complaining about the government. If you don't like the government so much, be in a position of leadership to change it. If you, not, if you do not like a car, do something to get money to get a new car, right? Whatever situation you're in, if you have the means and the opportunity and the, the, I don't know, the ability to change it, then do something to change it. Stop complaining about things you cannot control. If I'm walking in somewhere, I don't know you like that, and the first things you're going to say to me or the first things you're going to try to start the conversation with is... It's terrible out there. It's cold out there. It's, oh my God, I hate this. Oh my God, it's too early. Oh my God, I'm tired. It says something about you as a person. It's just a bunch of bullshit in my opinion. Right? How about hello, good morning. Hello, how you doing? Hello. It's good day. It's a good day to be alive. Because a countless amount of people are going to die today. A countless amount of people are not going to see another minute. A countless amount of people are not going to see another hour, another day, another week, another year. You're here complaining about it being windy outside with no snow on the ground. What does that say about you? What does that say? Guys, I know a lot of you aren't these kind of people that complain over everything. But you still participate. You still take part in it. Don't take part in it. Right? If you're going to complain about something, I'm not going to complain with you. I'm not going to just... I'm not going to find a way to fit in to complain with... I'm not going to do it. Right? I'm not going to do it. It speaks volume about the characters we are. God's or the universe or whatever you believe in is truly angry at us because for all the stuff we have, for all the stuff we're given, for all the stuff we, we didn't have to work for that we have around us, we complain so damn much. And that's what you mean. Right? Over everything. Over everything. Right? We don't realize what we have. We don't realize what we have. Right? It's crazy, but it's true. Right? You see so many of us walking around one winter, we have a jacket, we have a car, we have food, we have water, we have shelter. That's not enough. It has to be perfect all year round, but even though it's the warm seasons of the year, even though the government is doing, is, is, has advantage after advantage after advantage, we still have something to complain about, especially the things we cannot change, especially the things that are out of our control. What does that say about the character? What does that say about the individual? What does that say about the person? Always complaining, complaining. Starting your day with a complaint instead of, of looking around, of looking at what you have. Instead of not focusing on the things you do not have. I keep saying the same things. I keep preaching the same stuff. But the same stuff is what you see every day. The same stuff is what gets people killed. The same stuff is what gets people realizing, oh my God, that was so good when I had it. I lost it. What do I do now to get it? You may never get it back or you may lose it. Look around you. Start being appreciative for what you have, right? Stop hating on people. Stop complaining about every circumstance. Stop doing things to show that you're unappreciative for what's around you. Honestly, don't participate in that. Be different. Be different. 2% of the people listening are going to take into account what I'm talking about. But don't be the person starting the conversation out for complaint about what you don't have, about what you can't control, about something that has to do with nothing, honestly, with nothing. Who, the weather is going to be the weather. The weather changes. The weather is never permanent. The weather is unpredictable. How are you going to complain about something unpredictable? How are you going to complain about something that has absolutely no certainty that has absolutely no control how are you going to complain about that 
is really for a different purpose. It's really to hear yourself talk. It's really to get attention. It's really to get that dopamine rush, right? What does this say about you as a person? What does that say about you as a person? You gotta be, you gotta look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. I'm looking at the mirror on the wall. Why do the things you do? Yes, I get it. We, we aren't perfect. I get that. I, I understand that. But, 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 if most of your life is complaining, if most of your life is env being envious towards other people doing better than you, if most of your life is always looking at what you don't have instead of paying attention to what's around you, what, what does that say about you as a person? Yes, you can, okay, this is a nice looking car. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, work hard, you can have it too. Okay, cool, cool. Someone else is doing good. Oh my God, I'd love to have that too, yes. But there's a diff it's a different story than being envious. It's a different story by complaining about your situation and complaining about things you cannot control, like the weather, like the government, right? What does that say about you as a person? Really, really dig down, really dig deep, really look yourself in the mirror, right? Especially if you're someone that starts a conversation out of a complaint with a stranger. Come on, man. You gotta be better. You gotta be better. I don't know what other way to say it in a nicer way. There is no nice way to say it. You just gotta be better. Stop complaining about shit you can't control. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Honestly. If complaining can change the situation, hey, man, go ahead. Go ahead. But you keep doing the same thing, complaining, just to hear yourself talk and to get attention, then it says something about you as a person. All right? I don't know what else to add there, honestly. I'm just, I just spoke my mind about that and... Some of you are gonna like it, some of you are not gonna like it, but I don't care. Are you done? You done, right? You done, right? Are you done? Are you done? I'm putting it out there to tell my truth. I'm putting it out there to tell the truth. That's all.